Colum, after a couple of tough games, I thought our team's approach tonight was great. Uh, came out really moving the ball, had 33 assists tonight. Just, it's hard to maintain the appropriate approach when you've had five tough games in a row like we did. And I think that's just a credit to our team, the guys we have in that locker room, their ability to maintain focus and dig in and have each other's back uh, when things aren't going their way, um, I think is really, really special. And I think that's why our fans love this team. Um, I think it's obvious who the game ball goes to. It goes to Ochai Hakbaji. Um, Lowry is a very good player, and he had 49 points, but which is his career high. But Ochai also had his career high. And I have a lot of respect for Ochai, the way he's approached his work every day so far this season. He spent a lot of time in the G League, our G League staff. You know, Scott Morrison and, and his staff there have done a tremendous job with Ochai, helping him understand what it takes to be a pro, understand what it takes to impact winning. And I think Ochai, his physicality defensively in the game was great. Obviously, in the fourth quarter, he started off the quarter hot, um, you know, got the dunk. And then from there, his teammates found him and was able to knock down three three balls. So it's really hard to do what Ochai just did. And he delivered, stepped up big time for us. So very happy for him. Uh, I think this is a, you know, a, a sweet moment here early in his career uh, for Ochai. And Lowry, you know, we all wear hoodies with Lowry's face on it. So you know how we feel about Lowry. Uh, spectacular again. When you look at Ochai, you know, as a coach, um, was there a specific moment, you know, whether it be a practice or whether it be a shoot around where, you know, you just came, you know, to the decision like, hey, it's, it's time, you know, he looks like he's ready. It's, it's time to start, you know, kind of getting him into the rotation a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure you ever know if somebody is ready. But I think when we look at Ochai and the way he's approached every day, his mentality that he's had when he's been in the G League, the way he's dealt with good games, the way he's dealt with bad games, the way he's dealt with kind of going back and forth, being with us, being with them. You know, it's odd travel when you're doing that stuff also. Um, that's some like behind the scenes stuff that people maybe don't appreciate that you're bouncing around all over the country because the G League games, you know, when they're home, they're in Salt Lake, but they're also in a lot of different destinations. And, you know, he's never complained. And I think, you know, we just, we've reached a point in the season where he had put in a really good body of work and it was time to try to get him some minutes and see how he did. Um, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I saw this coming. You know, oh, yeah, Ochai's going to go in the game and he's going to have this type of performance. But, you know, I think as a staff, we were very confident that his approach was going to be correct and that he was ready to, you know, dig in mentally to play in an NBA game and, you know, an important game for us. We, we needed this win and he, he was fantastic. Um, I also want to circle back somebody that I didn't mention in my open that I thought really set the tone for us was JC. I thought his five assists in the first quarter were huge for us. It just started the feeling of the ball moving in the game. And, um, you know, he did a great job. Obviously, Mike had 11 assists, uh, made a lot of great decisions for us in the game. So it's a team win, as, as it always is for us. Um, so really happy for the guys. When you guys, uh, Houston comes all the way back, you guys are up 13, Houston comes all the way back, they take an 86-85 lead. You close the quarter on a 10 nothing run. How important uh, was that response, you know, heading into the fourth quarter for you guys? Yeah, that was huge for us. You know, credit to Houston. Like we talked about before the game, they have some really talented young players. And they hit seven threes in the third quarter. I thought we did a good job protecting the basket. I thought we did a good job containing dribble penetration. And... They made some tough off the dribble step back threes um, in that quarter and had seven of them. But that run at the end of the quarter for us to still manage to find a way to win that quarter, I think set us up, you know, with some confidence going into the fourth. And that that was big for us. I think it's it's always important how you close quarters. It's something that we've talked about a lot this year. It's something we've worked on a ton. You know, those situations, end of quarter. Um, they're such 
those minutes are more important than you think for the momentum of the game. And for us to find a way to win that quarter, I thought was big for us. When um, you, know, you, you guys go you know, up 11, you're heading into the fourth quarter, um, and they make another push at you, uh, how was Lowry able to, to basically essentially close, close the game out? You know, Lowry's done such a good job of continuing to work on different ways he can impact the game offensively. Um, obviously, he's shown the ability to shoot the ball, but I think the physicality that he's played with driving the ball, the physicality that he's played with as a screener uh, has given him an opportunity uh, to score in a variety of ways. You know, he's finding a way to get to the free throw line a lot because of that physicality. and. You know, anytime you see guys have big scoring nights in the NBA, a lot of times there's a lot of free throws involved in that. And he's just shown an understanding of how to play when teams try to take certain things away from him. So, you know, he started the game hot from three, and then really outside of that last one that he made in the corner, it seemed like he hadn't made a three, you know, for the remainder of the game. And, and you know, but he. He still found ways as a screener, driving the ball, uh, you know, found ways to, to score for us. So it's a credit to him. It's a credit to his teammates. You know, again, we don't put Lowry in a ton of isolation situations where it's just him dribbling and everybody kind of gets out of the way. It takes his teammates being in the proper spacing. It takes the person handling the ball when he's the screener to deliver the ball. I thought Mike delivered the ball to him great tonight. JC found him a couple times as well. So. It's, you know, with our team, it's always going to be group execution that leads us to success. So obviously thrilled for Lowry, um, but I think his success is indicative of the team executing well. What was uh, the reason why you uh, inserted, reinserted Taylor into the rotation tonight? Again, I think, I think Taylor's approach has been very good. I thought, um, you know, he's really dug in on some of the details defensively. And I thought that his physicality and ability to, to drive the ball tonight was going to be important against Houston's defense. Um, you know, they, they do a good job of helping, and, you know, ball handlers that drive the ball well can draw a lot of attention from their defense. So I just felt like Talon was a, a good matchup for this team tonight. And, you know, for him to have four assists and one turnover, I thought, you know, was, was big for him. That's Talon using his strengths to help the team. Uh, even though if he didn't score a ton. You talked about uh, your t this being a team effort. Effort whenever all the guys were so excited there at the end when Laurie passed his uh, career high. Did, was that is that kind of fun when you're going through a tough time to see see some excitement like that? Yeah, we we really try to maintain that togetherness and that feeling. Um, you know, as as JC says all the time in our locker room, keep the vibe alive. Um, our guys are all bought into the group. They're happy for each other's success, and I think that's what makes this season fun. Um, you know, we, we talk at times, fun is underrated in the NBA, and it's easy to get lost in, in the mix and, you know, the ups and downs of a season. But these guys have, have kept that, that approach every day, um, and it's, it's always a good feeling as a coach when you see the guys really rooting for each other. Um, you know, for Lowry to have a big night, I thought they were just as fired up for Ochai at the beginning of the fourth quarter when he had his little run. So they know the work that goes in behind the scenes. And um, we have a, a wonderful group of guys uh, that are all bought in together. Thank you. That's it? Thanks. All right.